and welcome to the Halloween edition of AISD TV News. I'm Karma Epps. And I'm Callie White. Spooky season is back and so are we. Can you believe we're opening season 18 of AISD TV News? I can't wait. It's going to be an exciting year. It sure is, and it already has been. We've got lots to catch up on. So let's get started with an exciting update with the future of Joey Rodriguez Junior High School, honoring the legacy of beloved Sam Houston soccer coach Joey Rodriguez. The school is set to open in the fall of 2025. Five students from the Simba Academy at Martin High School are about to make science fiction a reality. After more than a year of testing, experimentation, and overcoming obstacles, their experiment was selected to launch the International Space Station November 1st from Florida. The plan is to see how microgravity affects the germination of pea shoots to help determine the viability of pea shoots as a fresh food source in space. Whoa. And that's not all. Piercy STEM Academy students are also ready to engineer their future. Each student received a STEM kit to take home this month thanks to Garner Gibbs. Packaged with materials for building balloon-powered cars and Play-Doh bridges, there's no better way to learn all while having fun. It may be spooky season, but it's also specialized program season. This month, the district held its annual Explore Arlington ISD event at the Dan Diaper Career and Technical Center. And the best part is that was just the start. Whether you're interested in STEM, early college high schools, fine arts, and dual language, or more, the window for applications is open until January 13, 2025. There is no better place to jumpstart your future than in Arlington ISD. And guess what? What? It's also voting season. We may not be old enough to vote, but Seguin High School sophomore Elizabeth Ojo won the Dallas County I Voted sticker contest. And that means we can get a sticker too. The sticker saying, I want to wear an I Voted sticker too, will be given out to future voters who join their parents when they vote at over 350 voting locations. So make sure to get yourself a future voter sticker. It came right from Arlington ISD. Way to go, Elizabeth! And now to our frighteningly fierce sports update. Take it away, Karma. Hi, guys. Let's get into it. Starting off with volleyball and all the teams that are making it to the playoffs, we have Martin in first, Arlington in second, SGP in third, and the Lamar Vikings at fourth. Now, moving on to football. Running back, Kelton Barney had two 75-yard touchdown runs, and QB Gannon Carey had a 69-yard touchdown run. We pick up highlights in the third quarter with the Colts' Ab Ultikit scoring from the three. Making the game Lamar 50, Arlington 34. Vikings carry hits Camille Pruitt for his 16-yard strike. Even the Lamar defense scored. Tevin Booker grabs this tip ball and races 61 yards for this touchdown interception return. Fellow teammate Dante Gentry also picks off the Colt QB for this 26-yard interception return. Vikings corral the Colts 70-54. Over at Wildman, Sam Houston hosted the Grand Prairie Gophers. Sam jumped out strong, scoring 21 points in the first quarter. Jaden Harper punches it in from the two for the first score. Grand Prairie follows up with a touchdown of their own. Sam QB Ken Jones hits Nafatali Jacone for this 17-yard touchdown strike. On the Gophers' next drive, Isaiah Terrell is right where he needs to be for this touchdown interception return. Taking it 51 yards, giving Sam a 21-7 lead. The Texans capture their first district win and second win of the season. Other scores in the district, Martin 42, SGP 56, Bowie 41, Haltom 7, Seguin 57, and Everman 28. In District 3, 5A standings, Seguin and Mansfield Timberview are tied up for fourth place. In 8, 6A, Bowie Volunteers are undefeated, followed by South Grand Prairie. Arlington and Halton. This week's games, Arlington versus Grand Prairie at the Gopher Bowl, Sam versus Morin at Cravens, Lamar versus Bowie at Wildman, and Seguin has a bye week. 
And that's a wrap for today's Halloween edition. We hope everyone has a safe, spooky, and spectacular holiday. Let us know what you're dressing up as this year. Happy, Happy Halloween, Halloween, and remember, watch out for the ghosts. ghosts.